greetings and salutations yet again. I have, as I like to say, eaten. And uh, yes, I am an English teacher. But I have eaten. So now it is time to make the collar. Or prepare to make the collar. No, I do. Uh, oh, actually, this, no, this is actually all the fabric I got left. Uh, all right, so I did say we're gonna aim for 14 centimeters. I don't actually think I have, you know what we can do it this way. I can actually just pinch that on there so now it's not gonna fall down. Where is my ruler? And you name ruler. Do I have 14 centimeters here? I would say that's the thinnest spot. Yes, I do. Um, this is actually, this was cut early, freaking bonking my face. Um, actually, you know, we're gonna base it. We're gonna base it off of this. We're gonna call this a straight edge. It's not very straight. Oh crap! Before I do that, before, 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 before. Ugh. I actually have to. I need to measure. I need to measure the the neck hole. Um, we are gonna use. We're gonna use this guy. Give us a decent idea of the neck hole. Mm -hmm. okay, gives me eight ish there. Ten ish. Okay, now we're up to fifteen. We're up to eighteen. Twenty one. Twenty three. Kind of in the way. Uh, so let's say that's 28, 32, 35, uh, 37, 40. Where does where where do you end though? Okay, you end way down there. We'll move we'll move you down a bit. Forty-two, forty-five. You know we're gonna unhook. We're gonna unhook you for now. <clears throat> come on, come on. Don't be, don't be difficult. We're gonna unhook you so I can actually just shift all of this down. So I can bring this up. Okay, that's okay. That's where we're gonna go. We're going towards that. So we got what? We're at forty-five, forty-seven. 50, 4, 57, 60, 69. <laughs> um, so we want to go, I want to do a 2 inch. So we're at 69, and we're going to do 2 and 2. Um, so we got to add four centimeters to that. So we are at 73. Yep, 73 centimeters. We'll call that good. 73 centimeters is what I'm looking for. Put you back. Put you back up. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Everything's going to start falling down because of course it is. Oh, that was actually the, that was actually the pieces I didn't even freaking use. All right, but anyway, so seventy. Let's mark that down. So, so I need seventy-three centimeters by seventy-three cm. All right, but we already know. Well, my accent's coming out now. We already know that is definitely not a straight edge. What so freaking ever? This is also not a straight edge, but it is straight enough. For what I want to do and actually actually if it's not really even straight I can just kind of absorb that anyway so we are going to use that as a straight edge and it does not last long so you know what? instead of instead of doing that thing this I know for a fact is relatively straight and it's about 110 um, ish centimeters 108 I think maybe come on holy crap it just got twisted on itself. So we're actually going to use this. Right? Am I, I freaking going crazy here? No, that's what we're going to use. 
See, is uh, well, it's de it's decent. It's decently straight. Um, I'm already seeing the error an error in what I want to do uh, because so that gets me to 45. That gets me to 73. Come on, come on. You know you can come off. Thank you. So that gets me... That gets me 73. Which is not horrible. Oh, that is super freaking long. So what we are going to do... Uh, uh, my cloth scissors right here. We're going to chop this... A little longer. So then I don't have to worry about that call that collar. I think I'm thinking this collar is gonna be too big, but I might not have enough freaking fabric. However, if I don't have enough fabric, um I will be able to Sunday after Tycho maybe do a rush to it's a two hour one way drive so that's that's freaking four hours but it will be open because it's in the major it's in the major shopping center uh, that I found the the fabric I should have just bought extra I didn't I was trying to I was trying to be economical we'll see how well that freaking pans out it ain't uh, but that nah. so and then we're going to measure. Not straight. You're gonna measure 14, which puts us here. And 14. All right. I really should have stolen again. Um, I don't think anyone at work would have cared if I had took a big ruler home. But again, I didn't do that. Okay, we're almost we're almost through. And then I just gotta I just gotta mark it, cut it. That is off a little bit. Put an arrow well, far side. So you know what we'll see. Far side. I didn't mark that one very well. And here we go to, we will line you up perfectly with, you know what, we'll just line you up with here. And I'll draw, I'll draw a line down. All right, that will do the trick. Now we will be drawing this line. Glad I said the far side there. I didn't actually need to. But it was nice that I did. So that is good. Right, can I go all the way down here? Yes. most part in line there we are and there we go that is way off oh oh oh, oh. I'm getting crap all over my hands because again I don't care about this dress shirt that I dissected for Not bad. Okay. Put the ruler where I might need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna use that in a second. I was gonna use that for a second. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna assume that's straight. If it ain't, I'm not sure I care too much. No, that's right. Yeah, five, ten, fourteen. So where, where the heck did I put that mark? Oh, we're we're drifting down a smidge. We drifted down a smidge, so I maybe not. I might not get. 
a full, you know, 14. It's gonna be a little bit off, but it's because I want to do a two centimeter seam, uh, which is not a seam, it's actually a hem. Oh, and I don't want to actually cut all the way through because that actually damages the fabric a little bit. My neighbor is probably like, why is he talking to himself so much? Not that I don't talk to myself a lot anyway. I'm just now talking to myself a little louder. I think I think some of I think some of my marks are a little bit shy. But granted, my neighbor doesn't speak much English. So she might just be like, you know, it's just jibba jabba. Or maybe she speaks more than I think. I have no idea. Usually when I talk to her, I talk to her in Japanese, as best of my abilities, anyway. Which I wish were better. I'm working on it, kinda. Uh, I just decided too late uh, for my books, my study books for the next level. I thought I gave myself enough time, but... Like, I spent a couple weeks working on the vocab just from the book, and, like, it was knocking me out. So boring. And we fold this over. That is going to be decent. Oh, shit. No, I'm an idiot. And we'll do it. We'll do it this way anyway. I'm a f abject freaking moron. Holy smokes! I'm an idiot. Oh, because it was gonna be ten centimeters, and I'm like, oh, we'll make it fourteen. That's one side. I needed to double that. Oh, that's annoying. Do I got? Wait, was it? Was this? Was this this? Hold on. I might. I, it might be salvageable. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. Oh man, that's disappointing. Kind of expected, but disappointing. That's thirty-six. Gives me sixty. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, I didn't want what I cut. I wanted double what I cut. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna chop that off at least. This is very much getting in my way. There we go. Terrible cut, but it was fast. Ah, oh, I realized that too late, but that's it's fine. It's salvageable. All right, so here we go. Now, now it's not. Uh, so it's ten. So I want two, so it's 20, but I want two, so we're going to 22, and then because I'm gonna do it again, 24-ish. That seems massive. Let's do it at 20. 24 seems ridiculous. Just re, oh, hold on. I actually need to redo this. Um, nope, that, we're gonna, we're gonna measure it from this side, because this side is straighter. Make sure it's exactly 73 because that's we got to hem it okay so 73 is actually here come on don't fight me okay <sighs> okay so that's 73 there And then we're gonna go up that. Freaking ridiculous! Oh, I mean, I, ca I caught it in time, but man, that that annoys the crap out of me. Uh, so it goes. So we're at. That that is a lot of freaking material. 
Holy smoke. So we're going to go left-handed today. I'm not a lefty. But it seemed to work. All right. Yeah, because this, this is not straight. It's straight-ish, but it's not straight. But I'm glad I didn't waste time sewing and then realize after the fact that, oh, I screwed that up. Uh, thankfully, I realized I still have material, but that's, okay, that's just, just so much material I'm using, though. And I have a much more limited amount of material uh, than I'd like. Two, two meters is probably what I freaking needed, to be honest. I don't have two meters of the new material. So we'll have to we'll have to just hope that I can maneuver everything in such a way. I mean it's not that I've been maximizing. It's not that I've been maximizing my, my cuts or anything like that, but I'm actually gonna have to I'm actually gonna have to work on maximizing the cuts with the good the good fabric because I just don't have enough of it, or I might not have enough of it. I might have enough of it, um, but if I can get the prototype for the most part finished, say tonight, then what I can do tomorrow is lay out everything. I'm not sure where I'm gonna lay out everything. But I will lay out everything. Actually, this will actually be useful. Because this, this, this will be my template. Right here will be my template for the actual fabric. So this is a template. So boom, I'm going to write template on it. Just so I don't go crazy. So this is, this is collar temp template. There we go. And do not lose it. You know what? We will throw you on top of the paper. On top of the other templates. Oop, no. Ah, clean this up before I put it down. Feel bad for the shirt. Kind of. Not really. All right. We are clean. <clears throat> Let's get you cut. Yeah, this just seems freaking massive. I like that sound. Doesn't bother me. Let's just say it doesn't bother me. Might be annoying to the camera though. When I say the camera, oh, oh, I tried to just yank that and it did not yank. So this this fabric's got some some strength to it. It's got some power. All right. Now that I'm done, actually I think I'm probably done cutting. All right, so now let's fold this in half. Oh, okay, that looks much better. Oh, it actually has, it almost has a damn seam like right smack dab in the middle for me. Uh, but we are gonna do, you know what? We are gonna, we, we are gonna pin this. We're going to pin it and then I'll measure it.
Because that's how I roll. Really isn't how I roll, but that is how I roll right now. But again, it'd be really helpful to have my iron downstairs. But my iron. I mean, I do have a, I have a real ironing board and a small ironing board. I totally could have brought that downstairs. But we will save that for the final product. Because I think, what is it? It's just, it's 8.15. So I got some time to put into this. And sewing, sewing actually went really freaking well tonight. Um... I was not disappointed with how quickly I was able to get through that. I thought the first part of tonight's videos was like two hours, and it was just just over an hour. So I was like, "Man, I'm freaking! I was flying!" So that makes me happy. Gives me an idea that I could actually probably crank this thing out. Maybe so if I have enough, if I have enough fabric, which I do hope to. Uh, figure out tomorrow uh, we will do I don't particularly oh that, that, that is probably going to get that is going to get within the uh, the range of actually almost all these pins are actually probably going to get within the range of sewing probably going to get in the way of sewing We'll, scr we'll scrunch you up. You're not actually fitting perfectly, but I will allow it. I will allow it. That is definitely within the range of where I'm going to be freaking. Okay, so that is decent. So that is decent. I wish, yeah, I should have brought. I should have brought it down because then. Well, especially because there's actually a crease in here, just natural crease from how the fabric was, uh, you know, on the rack folded. So if this is a zero, that's that's under ten. What? That's oh, about ten even. I did cut it at twenty. Okay, I did cut it at twenty. Okay, we're not going to measure it. We're not. We're not going to. I'm just going to sew it. Um, we're gonna just do. We're just gonna do the centimeter that we've been doing uh, for everything tonight, because um, that has worked out. So we're just gonna do it that way. So that means I'm just going to eyeball it. I don't. Again, I don't care for it, but um, yeah. Oh, cause it's gonna be. I'm gonna be losing. Yeah, I'm gonna be losing two centimeters anyway. I might have to do. I might have to actually do this a little bit closer to the edge. I don't like it, but let's try to do it as close to the edge as possible. Yeah, we'll go from. We'll we'll do that. See see how I like that. I'm not gonna like it, but. Oh, and I, I did find, I did find the, uh, the guard, or the cover, I should say. Alright, start taking these pins out. Oh, uh, we do have, we do have to, um, fold this back in on itself, too, to, uh, make it nicer. doing fairly decent on keeping that relatively where I want it. Be nice if there was an idiot light on this side too. Would make things would make things easier if I had two idiot idiot lights on this thing. Okay, that is on the floor. Okay, fell by, fell by me so I can Ah, then I stab myself picking the damn thing up. Yeah. Okay, it's 
it's gone well. And I do like the stitch that I'm putting in here. I do like it. It's just a straight stitch. It's not it's not any of the fancy dancy zigzaggities um, or the freaking uh, signals. It's just a straight stitch. I like it. It's not the it's not probably not the straightest because I didn't have it marked. It's not the straightest, but I think it will work. So we'll, we will switch sides now. these just to make sure they are good come on come on you know you want to come on uh, it's fighting me there we go there we go we got some traction maybe I should actually continue sewing past it a little bit just to give me when I tie these things off like it'll actually have something to it won't actually like crinkle the fabric at all. It'll just be good. All right. Give that a trim. Add it to the pile. Flip it around. Do the same thing on the other side. Oh yeah, man. It's fine. It's really not going to be impacted much. Come on, come on. I like how the, I like the fact that I give myself a ton of extra thread on this side, and I have way more difficulties tying it than I do on the other side. But we're gonna do a double knot here just because I didn't go tight because I didn't want to put extra pressure on the seam on the hem before I hem it the other way. Ooh, okay. I, all right, so now we're going to do these one at a time. Oh, no, 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 hold on. I can't, I have to, we have to flip it inside out and then hem it. Almost forgot. Because if I hem the damn thing, I won't be able to flip it inside out, which is the goal, which is what I want to do. And there you go, collar's gone. Am I able to? A little bit. No, oh, it's not coming out as well as I wanted it to. There we go. There we go. Open that up. Okay, that helped. Oh, ooh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Gotchas. Boom. Invisible seam. Oh, crazy. Crazy. Okay, now... Now we have to hem it. So we're just gonna fold it over like so. Oh, this is also where having an iron would help a lot.
Okay, I can, I can, I can do it. I can do it this way. We have to go really, really freaking slow. I have to go really freaking slow to make sure I grab the pins I'm putting in there before they cause an issue. And then the hem will be on the inside. So now, now, getting light on, we got the threads. stab myself on all the other ones. Because I went I went too far down before removing it. This one's good. This one's gonna be. I think we're okay. There we are. Rip you up, idiot. Light off. Pull you. Cut. Tie. Yeah, I probably should have hemmed it closer to the. Uh, the actual other hem, but it is, I think it'll be fine. Again, these are things I can fix on the actual official, on the official version. On the official version. However, this does, this deck, this actually did fairly decent though fairly decent not the greatest but I just don't know how much rigidity um, it's gonna have none because it's just freaking thin ass fabric but you know it is what it is uh, oh yeah sewing sewing that around the neck is not going to be entertaining in the slightest all right so we are to cut you good Probably wasting a lot of thread doing it that way, but it's fine. I got I got more thread. Okay, where? Okay, you are you are the base, and I'm folding you over like so. All right. Well, we're, we're going to be pinning it anyway, so it's not, not a huge deal that right now the seam wants to kind of creep up a little bit on me. Not the biggest deal. Right? That's on the inside? Yes. Okay, I'm glad I double-checked. It would have been super freaking annoying. To have done that wrong. Glad I didn't. All right, and at the end. But this one, unlike the other side, this one we're actually doing the biggest side first. Idiot light. Oh! In the shoot. In. Shutter Dean. Dan. All right, let's proceed. 
Uh, is there a reason why you're not continuing? Am I just being an idiot? Nope, something's wrong. Something's wrong. What's wrong? Am I out of... Am I out of... No, thread's going fine. Apparently I wasn't... What did it... Did it get... No, I think the foot pedal maybe got a little bit stuck. Because it should not have been that difficult. To uh, move that. Ooh, I went too far. Okay, I am for the most part happy with that. Now it's going to come the painful time of adding it to adding it to the freaking the rest of the 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 costume cuz that's just not going to be entertaining that's going to be that's going oh, I, I I did it even closer to the opposite side that I wanted to freaking do it to eh, it is what it is I'm not going to do it again. I'm not going to do like a double hem. There's no reason for that. Alright, so you are out. Okay, so now we got to pin the crap out. Of, okay, so now now we got now we got our collar. It actually might be too big. That's not bad. That's That seems long. Oh, well, because it, it, it actually overlaps. I was kind of I was doing it to like here, and I'm like, that is massive, but it, there is there is a significant overlap, and it needs to be open. It need, not going to be tight like a dress shirt. All right, so now comes this magnificent journey. But we are going to be sewing it this way. Wait, are you? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We're going to be sewing it this way because then that is going to hide um, this seam. Uh, you know what? I kind of want to mark this. Oh, but how much do I want to mark this? Because this is not going to be, especially with this. Oh, actually. Oh, because I'm doing it here, I can actually. You know what? Let's trim it a little bit. You're a little bit long. Come on, thank you. All right, so I can actually kind of do this. So we want. So how 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 long did this actually end up being? Ten. Nope. Nine. So it ended up being nine. Really? It's nine down there. I thought. Well, I mean, I did I did freaking wing it. So if it's not uniform it's not uniform now it's about nine the whole way through okay so actually we are going to do this a centimeter again that seems to be that seems to be kind of like a default measurement that I've been going for But we gotta have to mark the absolute crap out of this.
Uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, so it doesn't actually really freaking matter which way that goes. There's another one of those seams, another one of my seams. Oops. Oh, I'm, I'm working, I'm dealing with corners here. I just realized something. I did not measure. So this is actually going to overhang. <laughs> uh, sometimes I'm a massive idiot. So I gave myself four centimeters for a two inch hem. And then I did about a one centimeter hem. Actually, I might have done a little bit more than a centimeter hem. Let me, let me get a measure on that. Oh, I did about a one and one and a half. So we're actually, it's actually not going to be too terrible. It's actually not going to be too too terrible. <sighs> oh, and then we are actually going to freestyle the this. Is that that? Whew. Damn, that smells super potent for some reason. <sighs> All right, so we want this side down, that side in. So I'm going to need to pin the ever living crap out of this. Thankfully I have a lot of pins. Might not have enough pins because I'm I'm really well I want to make sure that I want to make sure that this is oh that's it's fine it's folding on itself a little bit but it's fine it is for the most part fine Now, now, now we're getting some issues. Oh, I just don't want it. Yeah, we will, we will be quadrupled doing. We will be doing massively, massively more due diligence on the final one. massively more due diligence on the final one. I'm learning a lot. I'm learning that oh, the collar is by itself a massive pain. So the question then stands, is the collar 
we're gonna put a couple extra pins in here because that's a lot of fabric that it's going through. Uh, can the collar actually just be... Oh, it won't be able to be default incorporated, I don't think. I don't think that's freaking possible. I honestly don't think that's possible. It'd be nice if it was possible, I just don't think it's possible. Because the guy, the guy whose video I've been following, he made the collar separate. And to me, that if he's doing it separate, oh shit. I gotta repin it. Because the, the pins are basically, I put the pins, I guess you could say like along the grain. Which means they're actually not going to hold anything. Because as I'm moving and I'm like, the pins are just coming out. What's going on? Oh, that's because you need to put them, you need to put them the other way. That was me being an idiot. That wasted, I wasted some time. Not a lot, but some. Enough to be annoying. All right, let's try this. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try this again. Okay, and I'm actually going to take even more care to make sure we are on because I really wasn't taking a lot of care before. So we are going to, oh, cause I got to. This would be so much easier. Well, there's probably an easier way to do it. But right now I'm just trying to maximize the amount of fabric I got. Because right up here, right up here and up here, it goes right to the seam. Like those are, ah, down here I didn't do very well at the seam. Shizen. All right, well that's, that's annoying. But I want to, I want to basically pinch. You know what, screw it. Let's go get it. I'll be right back.
and we're back. I got my my iron and my small portable or more portable ironing board. Oh, Cause I want to. I really want to. I think when the idiot light, there we go, a little bit. The idiot light goes off. I think is when we're golden. So I want to maximize the amount of fabric in here. I want to maximize the height. Well, that heats up pretty good. Nope. There we go. I heard a noise. So that means it is, it is sufficiently warm. Because I want to... This is harder than I thought. It'd be easier if it was open. But... Nice and crisp. I'm getting dangerously close to freaking ironing my freaking fingers, so I gotta be extra careful. I gotta just pay a little bit more attention. I probably, you know. Ironing actually pretty nice. Come on. There we go. There we are. Ooh, I might. So yesterday, might as well have a little conversation, talk to myself while uh, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. So yesterday, as I left work, I was like, oh, it's randomly getting foggy. I mean, the temperature, the temperature's been cold at night, heats up during the day. It's not, you know, anything, you know, not any super extremes, but I'm like, it's foggy. That seemed weird. So as I'm driving home, and I was driving basically towards the fog. You know, the fog's by, we got a nice beautiful mountain right over there. Right over there. Um, but I was noticing, I'm like, why, why is it foggy? What's going on here? Yeah, it wasn't fog. It looked like fog. It literally looked like I was driving through fog. Not like super dense fog, but fog. You can tell it's fog. It's not like late night on a mountain pass where you got like you go through wisps of fog it wasn't that it was like legit hey it's fog i can freaking tell yeah it was not fog it was gnats it was a freaking just so many gnats just everywhere like coming down basically like ashes after like a freaking volcano it was so many gnats it was nuts now i've lived in this apartment uh, two and a half years ish, yeah, about two and a half years, and I've never seen that before. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, okay, it's it's foggy, you know. Foggy's not outside the realm of possibilities. Foggy's not outside the norm. It was a freaking swarm of gnats. So many gnats. Can I get? Can I get the last few pieces here? Maybe. Yeah. So, and they're they're um, it wasn't it wasn't as thick today, but they were still out in force in like everyone's car, because again with the temperature changes, there's dew on your car in the morning. Everyone's car is just caked in the damn things. All right. We got a nice, let's turn this, turn that off. We got a nice crisp edge there. Uh, let me stand up so I don't try to do this and end up really, really hurting myself. Uh, but I 
want to leave this on the board so it doesn't fall on the floor. If it sets the board on fire, that's a lot better than setting my apartment on fire. Or burning the, burning the, the wooden floors. Because that would be horrendously terrible. But yeah, it was a freaking just so many gnats. It was nuts. Okay, I got to... Oh, no, no, I'm glad I actually... Iron that. Come on, come on. There you go. Nope. Okay, that is good. Again, we are going to put so many pins in here, it's going to be nuts. What well, already is kind of nuts. Oh, no, no, yeah, I don't want you going through there. I want you go through up here. Boom. Okay, yeah, that's, that's going to be holding a lot, a lot better. A lot, a lot better. There we go. I'm glad I hyped up the fact that I was building my own damn thing. Probably would have been cheaper to buy one off the internet. But you can't necessarily put a price. Ow. On know-how. Well, you probably could, depending on what, what you're learning. There's like a distinct... I mean, I could put a price on my engineering degree that I don't use anymore. Or the business degree that I also have, my master's degree that I have in business. Which I got because I didn't want to continue working all the extra crazy hours I was working at my, my engineering job. I was like, haha, I will get a master's. Which kept me from working overtime, so that was actually, that was actually a side benefit. But um, I wanted to kind of maybe move up into technical management. That didn't work. So, quit my job. Worked at a hardwood, uh, a lumber store. As I waited to escape to Japan, which I did successfully do, and I'm super happy, comparatively. Uh, okay, we are, we are, we are actually, we are cooking with fire. We're actually doing pretty freaking good here. But I'm also realizing as I'm sewing this thing. I mean, I'm using I'm using white white thread, which is fine for the prototype. I don't really care. But holy moly does it stand out. <laughs> holy moly does it stand out. It stands out actually more than I thought it would. I mean, on the seams cuz all the seams are on the inside, it doesn't stand out like at all cuz you can't see it. But on some of the parts like on the on the hem on the hems, you can see it because the hems on both sides of the fabric. Yeah, that is very visible. More visible than I gave it credit for, to be honest. Oh, I think that's going to basically be exactly the length we need, actually. Yep, I missed that one. This is actually like the hardest pin job I've done to, I've done to date. Oh, cuz this is this is actually like one of the more more precision ones that I've had to do. That's fine. Just 
it has to hold it. Actually, we might be we might be a smidge short. Like less than a centimeter short. Yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty freaking close. Close enough that I'm not too worried about it. Would it be nice if it was perfect? Of oh, freaking course it would be nice if it was perfect. Can I get it perfect? No. Can I get it passable? Probably. Okay. That is pinned. Holy moly. Holy moly. Okay. Now, I am getting... You know what? I am freaking burning up right now. Ugh. Oh, just why is I didn't turn the heat up when I got home. Why am oh that it's 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 from the freaking it's from the freaking iron. Twenty one. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely from the iron though. That's what that's what kicked up the heat a couple notches at least to how I'm you know how much it feels like I'm. Oh, we're oh we're selling it from this side. Okay, that's fine. Either side is actually fine. I don't actually particularly care. You have to come out. Oh, but it means all a lot of these have to come out pretty freaking fast. Idiot light. Idiot light is on. Come here. Am I jammed again? What's going on here? Hold on. Yeah, we we is jammed. How do I? I don't really have a crank. Oh, I don't have a crank to uh, bring the needle back up. Oh, I can just push it up. That yeah, that already freaking like jammed on us. What the heck? What the heck? Why why you jam? Maybe I didn't have enough slack. That's entirely possible. Maybe I just didn't have enough slack to start start to start the. Try, let's try this again. It is, it is also very, very thick where I'm at. Oh no. What if I, what if I put that up to a four? What if I put it up to a three? Two? I don't know what that does. It was at a five before, so what if I go to a seven? Crap. Oh, I might not be. This is a lot of fabric. I just might not be able to sew through it. Yeah, it can't. It can't go through it. What the hell? Why can't you go through it? You know what? We're gonna go with the two. It might not be able to go through it because. What I'm I'm concerned. Like it can't. I know it's a lot of fabric, but I don't know why you are getting stuck. Like literally, right when you freaking start. I don't know what's going on here. It is it is a lot of fabric. Um, I don't know what. Okay, put you back up to seven. Put you back down to a five. Um, maybe with maybe with a two. Um, you're not going to have to like go through it too much. Uh, hopefully I don't have to change anything. I know it's a lot of fabric. Oh, I can't, it can't get through the hem. Okay, okay. Okay, I know how we can, we can do this. It can't, it can't get through the hem. That's the problem. It cannot get through the hem. Now that I know that we are going to actually go back to a one, because I want this to be super duper 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 strong, but it can't get through the hem, so we will start right after the hem. Seven. 
see if that that did the trick. That did the trick. It's the hammock can't get through. All right, are we? I think we're doing okay. I think I actually need to move it a little bit closer to the edge here. Okay. Because we're gonna run into issues because we got we got some extra we have some extra fabric coming up. So I actually might have to I'm gonna have to figure that out then because uh, this is gonna have a massive impact because I got another I got another larger seam coming up very very soon. Especially when I go over the back piece, that is stabbing my gut. When we go over the back piece, that's a lot of... I'm nervous about it because that's, that's, com that's coming up very, very soon. Investigate. Okay, we, we, we are on. We are on. But I got a lot of fabric coming up, so it might jam again. So I'm going to take it to the cusp. We're going to backtrack. Forward track. Just in case it gets stuck, I'll have a, re a little bit of a reinforced area and then I can pick it up again later. Oh, it made it, it made it past that one. We're doing good. We're doing good. to figure out what the gate uh, I might have to figure out a little bit more on the gauges and all that other stuff to see if uh, what I can do uh, to see if I can power through that I got I got some other needles I could put on there but they're probably all the freaking same I don't know that much about sewing machines all I know is this one didn't want to go through the hem so that might mean do the hem afterwards would not be a bad idea because then I could just kind of yeah do the hem afterwards would probably be the better bet yeah I know I'm bunching it all up and stuff like that I just don't want it to fall on the floor okay we're coming up on the last bit here I don't think I can get through the hem gonna get jammed again but uh, I had already reinforced it before then so there we go and let's investigate 
worked pretty good. I'm fairly happy with it. Um, slightly disappointed that it didn't actually, that it couldn't get past the hem. But what we'll just do instead is we'll just tie it off. So I got enough thread to tie it off. On the front end, on the back end, not so much. so much definitely not so much you know what but I might be able to tie it off underneath Wait a second can I do it I mean it's I should have cut it I should cut it further away Can I do a double? I might be able to. Managed. Okay, good. Managed to get it through. All right. So now the collar is. Oh, we're gonna leave you. We're gonna leave you up here. But now the collar is good. The collar is on. This is the. This is the left. Uh, yep. All right. So now what we're going to do is. Oh, I put the end that's left. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm tripping. Here we go, we got, uh, we got Velcro. Actually, you know what, do I have other Velcro? I might. Oh, I think I do, I'm not 100% new. Nope, that's for something else. All right, do I have any? Negative. Negative, negative. Negative Ghost Rider pattern is full. So that means this is all the Velcro I have. This is actually the color I want. And it's not it's not Velcro in the traditional sense, what you would consider like in the States. Actually hold the phone. There is a fabric store in the town I have Tycho on on Sunday. I'll swing by there, see if they got uh, the right color Velcro and all that other good jazz. Yeah, but you don't, you don't really have... Oh no, this is totally what I'm thinking of. Because usually you got, you got kind of two rough sides. But this side is definitely a clear rough side and a clear soft side. Nice. But I want to do it, so we'll do it, see if I can do it in just... I'm thinking four pieces. I think that'll be enough. But dude, if they had if they had freaking problems, if they had freaking problem. I don't. Yeah, I don't need you anymore. But if you had problems, oh. So soft side, soft side is on on the body side. Rough side is going to be the side that connects to it. Ah! And then I'm chucking it across the room. So that's rough. So we got soft, soft. Okay. Yeah, I was expecting this stuff to be what I've, what I've done some other Velcro stuff where it wasn't soft, soft. It was more like hard, hard. And it's, you know, it works. But it's not, it's not like, you know, it doesn't really give you that super duper Velcro grip you expect all right so we oh, no 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 this is the left side so this is actually the hard side so we'll put that on the inside there um, you know what 
I don't know. I don't want to pin it. I just want to freaking put it in and freaking sew it. See, can't see the needle. There we go. Where, where is it? Where is I? Where is I? There I is. Turn, down, reverse. We'll call that good. Ah, oh, that's garbage. Looks like absolutely freaking dog shit. But it's on. We'll cut. We'll cut these super tight too because. I don't want them to get in the way, the threads to get in the way, but if it comes undone a little bit, I don't really care. This is just a really quick one and done kind of thing. There we go. All right. So we got one there, and we're going to put one down, definitely down at the bottom. You are golden. Probably too much, but it's fine. And this is the tough stuff. You were you are in there, so you are actually going to be right there. I think is fine. So down. Oops. Down. Forward lift. Oop. Pull. Pull up. Rotate. Down. Lift. Turn. Down. Reverse. Lift. Turn. Down. Reverse. Oh, it's oh, hold on. We'll we'll go straight. I missed it. <laughs> completely miss. I completely missed it on that one reverse. I was not on it at all. Uh... Yeah, I was very. Again, I don't care. I just want this on, so we can do proper fitting. Uh, and if you know, first comes the worst. I can take parts of this apart uh, and use the actual fabric itself as the. Uh, So I wanted the collar, so we are going to go down, let's say 10, 10 cent from there, and that will be the top, and then we'll figure out where it is after the fact. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. So down. Up. Oh, we got to rotate the other way, don't we? Yes, we do. Reverse. Up. Rotate. Down, reverse. 
I think I'm off again. I'm off again! You know what? You know what? Screw it. Hold on. We'll, we'll go back down. Yep. Oh, I missed that. I missed that freaking twice. Holy smokes. This is like the most per freaking secure piece of Velcro you'll... Okay, I thought I missed it three times. Came freaking close. That's for dang sure. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I came really freaking close to missing that. I missed that multiple times. That's super... Okay, so what we're going to do then is... Uh, I might not use this kind of Velcro then because... It's the the color is super duper close to um, the fabric, and maybe maybe it's just too hard to see. I mean that's entirely a possibility. All right, so what what do we got uh, lengthwise between the two here? We got top of this one. Fifty-one, so half of that's twenty-five and a half. So twenty-five and a half is going to be a, a dead center. All right, marked. All right, so maybe maybe that was that was nope. Maybe that was the mistake with this. Was that I? Um, I got stuff that was too close in color to So what we need to do then is I think we just need to get like bigger pieces of um, that would also do the trick is just get bigger bigger pieces of velcro so I don't have to worry about this tiny little tiny little velcro track that I'm trying to freaking you know do that is a very interesting design all right, so that is on. I'm missing a Velcro. Where'd it go? It flew off this motor coil. Did it somehow get stuck? Eh, no idea. So this, we are going to, we have to put it on this. Where are you? Seriously. Oh, there it is. I found it. Oh, can I reach it? I can with my foot yes yes I can okay we're gonna put you over here where you're actually not gonna get beat or you know punched around by the uh, yeah oh I did a, such a shitty job on that one such a crappy job on that one about about a about a finger about a finger boom all right, get you under. Where's that? Oh, I flipped you. I flipped the foot pedal. Less than ideal. Oh, 
Oh, we're gonna we're gonna rotate you this way. Actually, I can rotate. Oh, you know what? No, screw you. I screw it. I can rotate you this way. Oops, we're coming off. Nope, we are not on. I don't think that... Oh, I was way... I, I had it way closer than I thought I did, and then I moved it to a much worse location. Yeah, yeah, sounds about right. Sounds about right. Oh, that's why it's giving me those really weird patterns. All right, so this and then this one. Oh, that one was down. That one. Oh, I, it was. It was down. Uh, the top of it was ten cen, ten centimeters down from the seam for the top. And I don't want to mark this because this is. Come on, come on, come on. You know you want to. Thank you. Lift, rotate. Oh, shears get out of the way. Yeah, we're gonna get bigger pieces of um, bigger pieces of Velcro. That'll make this part way way easier. Cause I'm really like, you know, it's not uh, as easy as I would like to uh, see where this is freaking going. It's really not as easy as I would like. All right, so on this on this other side, where do we have the Velcro? We had it pretty much on the bottom. Just not, not even a finger on the bottom. So yeah, here we go. Yeah, I should have had bigger pieces, but it's fine. So we are about here. When that guy sewed, when he sewed his Velcro on, he just did it so freaking clean, it was nice. He did his so freaking clean, it was nice. Just boom, boom, boom. Well, I mean, again, he is a skilled. He's done it before, so he's got a lot of practice underneath his belt. So I guess I guess if I do this enough, maybe I'll get that practice. Uh, but he also probably also has an idea what he's doing. So aside from practice, he knows what he's doing. Uh, 
And so we will measure this again just to see if. Oh, it's 51. So, 25 and a half is dead center, which puts you dead center right there, roughly. Oops. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't fight me. Don't fight me. Come peacefully. Come peacefully. Why are you not coming peacefully? Oh, because it is, it, is, it is stuck. There we are. All right. Now is the moment of a truth. Well, one of them. All right, idiot light is off, shears are over there. That is on the ground, hopefully out of the way. Uh, we will move the TV, Ooh. Move it out over there. All right, so here is, again, not looking terrible. Ugh. I can get it in it pretty decent. Now let's What's secure? Oh, I'm an idiot. No, I'm a freaking, freaking idiot. Ugh. It's not, uh, the Velcro's not in the right spot. On the, um, on this side. It needs to be further over. So here's, here. Okay, I accidentally kicked it, but it's not horrible. So here's what we're looking at. That's not, this This seems too big, but that's because it's supposed to be over. You know what? You know what? We're going to, we're going to fix that. We're going to fix that because I can fix that. It's not, it's not the biggest of deals. Uh, it's, it, is it annoying? Yes. But uh, I'm a moron for forgetting that detail where, oops, I, oh man, see this is why I shouldn't have had that wrap around the stupid leg. Okay, now you're not around the leg anymore, so. No, but that was a mistake on my part. Because I wanted to overlap, and then when I sewed this stuff on, I didn't have it spaced for overlap. Ah. Uh, but as opposed to needing to redo like a ton of stuff this is probably considerably you know a little you know minor compared to other stuff that I could have needed to redo yeah it's the soft, the soft stuff is the one that I got to redo because it wasn't supposed to go where I have it it was supposed to go somewhere else Yep. Oh, there we go. Oops. Now I'm stabbing myself with my freaking D threader here. Which has an actual name. I just can't remember what it's called. Oops. Oh, shit. Okay. I accidentally undid some other threads that I didn't mean to do. Undo. 
My bad. It's probably fine. Or I'll just, oh, ooh, that went into the fabric. I don't want to do that. Oh shit, that's just, that's just, okay, maybe this is, maybe I should be doing it from the top because I'm probably less likely to puncture the, um, the Velcro than I am the fabric itself. There we go. Yeah, I'm not too keen on not too keen on screwing that up, but of all the things to screw up, that's probably, again, one of the better things to actually mess up. It's something that is more easily fixed than a bunch of other stuff. Oh, you know what? I can actually just get this under here. Yeah. Okay, that was much a much better way to do it. Nope, not done yet. Here we go. Disappointing again, but there are much worse things that could have gone wrong. I mean, some things did go wrong, and I'm just ignoring it. hell happened over here all right well, all I all I care about is actually I should probably take all the uh, the th all the thread from here off off to make sure I got a good clean oh there we go that's it that was a good piece that was a good piece and Oh, this is getting kind of tore up, though. That's got kind of tore up. But yep. All right. No, we're not. We're not moving you at all. We're moving these. We're moving these. Yikes. Disappointing. Disappointing. But of all the things. This is the least of my worries. Big, the biggest worry is, do I have enough? Do I have enough good fabric to complete the project? On top of that, am I leaving myself enough time to complete the project? Now they got a way better understanding of what I'm doing. I think so. But again. gonna come down it's it is gonna come down to the last couple days you know maybe maybe I can get some progress done on oh, you know if I can get actually some progress done on Friday it'd be amazing towards the actual like legit one that I'm working on we will try that it's 930. like to have this done and fitted uh, by 10 if possible or before before preferred don't don't force it if it's if it's not trying to go if it doesn't want to go don't force it cuz you might end up ripping the fabric underneath it which you don't want to do which is actually what was going to happen probably had I forced that Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. That was that was a that was a big oversight, I think, on my part, where I'm like, this is this is not at all where I wanted it. What we're going to try to do after I get this clean, that one's decent. 
Um, we are actually going to do a little bit of a fitting just to see, get an idea of where I actually want it. And we might actually mark, we might actually mark the fabric. Just give me a better idea of where, where stuff's supposed to be. Ah, oh, so disappointing. And I went over some of these like five times. Rage. Not a lot of rage, but some rage. An amount of rage that's probably not terrible. Oh, I poked through. See, that's why you gotta go slow. Oh, I'm through again. So we'll, we'll start working on the other side. All right, I only have I only have two more to get off, and then I gotta re-sew them. But I mean, it didn't take that long to sew them. Did not take that long to sew them. So let us continue. Okay, there we go. Now, now we're coming. Now we're coming. Yeah, I'm look. I'm I'm so I'm I'm putting these on. And I'm like, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And I'm like, why is it not awesome? Oh, cause that's wrong. I mean, I'm going to be putting a zipper on the dang thing, too, so... Uh, the, Vel the Velcro is literally uh, just because um, the zipper is actually going to be lined up with this side. Um, and you know what? I, sh yeah, I should actually... I like the zipper I have, but I might... When I go looking for more Velcro, which I'll actually probably do... I might do tomorrow night. That might not be a bad idea to have it tomorrow night. Just because I'll be able to stay up even though I'm going to be up super freaking early Saturday. Um, get to work actually earlier than normal. Um, it might not be a bad idea after work tomorrow to go up and get um, another zipper so I can practice the zipper because it's going to be sewn on differently depending on which side of the fabric we're on because on this side on this side the zipper is literally just gonna be sewn here on the other side it's not so it might not be a bad idea, but then when I get the Velcro, if I can get the Velcro in the right spot, if I can get it dialed in just nice, then I can put the Velcro on, and then I can figure out where where the the zip the zipper goes. So that's actually that's actually not a bad plan. Not a bad plan, yes. As they would say, hmm, yes, yes, yes. I had lasagna. Wish I had lasagna. Oh, I wish I had my friend's lasagna. Her lasagna is the best in the world. She always made it for me for my birthday. It was so amazing. Her lasagna, the best. The absolute best. God, I miss... Oh, a lot of times I do miss a lot of my friends back in the States. Especially my good friends. Uh, because with the COVID and the, you know, the, the crap, like, no one could come out and visit me because uh, they'd have to come visit me because I get paid in yen, which is just dog shit right now. I think he had 150 yen per dollar today. That is absolutely tragic because I get paid in yen 
if if say say for example if when I got here yen was one yen to the cent so 100 yen uh, 100 yen per dollar and I made say a thousand bucks that's thousand bucks in yen thousand bucks in you know boom thousand bucks now if I still get paid the thousand the you know well thousand dollars in yen would be would be juman in would be a hundred thousand yen is would be a thousand bucks at a uh, hundred to one ratio so now now if I make that hundred thousand yen what it does now translate to into dollars is like 660 because yen is 50% or a third more so I lost like 33% of my value uh, so na naturally to say if anyone wants to come visit uh, if anyone you know I'm not inclined to go back to the states for other reasons I just really have no desire to go back to the states at this juncture in time I'm you know three and a half years into my working stint over here um, I'm happy to be in Japan amazingly happy to be in Japan um, but I don't have the funds to go back to the States anyway So that means people are gonna have to come here, yeah. which you know is fine. A lot of a lot of them probably have never been to Japan, so might not be a bad idea for them to come. All right. So, so when I have this, when I have this on, I want this to go over. I don't want it. I don't want it to overlap that freaking much. But if it goes to here. All right, got it marked. Oh God, no, it is that pen. Man, that's way more fumey than I thought. Holy smokes, that pen is fumey. All right, so I marked, I marked it. How far did I mark it? Okay. That's, that's significant. What are we talking about? We're talking about like 14 freaking centimeters. I don't want to go that far. Uh, let's go. Let's go twelve. Oh, that that is actually not straight. That is not straight at all. That should have been straight up. So we're gonna go. Hold on. How big? How big are these? How big are these things? I, I cut them about. Two. Eh, well, if I put them all that way, about two and a half. I cut them about two and a half squares. All right, so, you know what we'll do? We'll do, I kind of want to do it at 12, but we'll do it at 13. Oh, okay, what, what, how, where's, where's this one on that? Okay, about a finger's lit. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do 13, and we'll put that like 13 will be dead center. So 13 will be dead center. Other fingers. All right. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't freaking remember that. Now I remember it. Now it's like duh. Oh, foot pad. Thank you. Yeah, I should have remembered that. Anyway. Yeah. So maybe next year, um, some friends will come and visit. That'd be super nice. I know my mom wants to come visit. Like if my sisters would come visit, that'd be cool. Yeah, but yeah, it really kind of, you know, I, I, I love it. I love being here. I absolutely love Japan. But the yen is so weak right now. It's bad. So, so, so weak. Oh, it'd just be nice.
price if if uh, if we can go back down to like hundred to one ratio. Oh, that'd be magical. Absolutely magical. Might happen again at some point in time. Who freaking knows? Let's just say I'm not going to be holding my breath for that to happen again. It'd be nice. It'd be super freaking nice. All right, so 13 is what we said is going to... Ooh, yeah, 13. Oh, that actually, I actually, I actually sold that one pretty decent. So 13 is what we said was dead center. Make sure it's not too far off there. All right, so... Oh, we doing... We're, we doing 10 inches, Dan? 10 inches? No, we ain't. That is 10 on the nose... So, and we're going to go 13 dead center. So that puts you 26. So 13 dead center. Wait, 10. 10 10's the top part. Can I sneak that? Actually, I can sneak that in. Boom. It's ballpark. It's not it's not an exact science at the moment. Uh, it's a lot of fabric that's gotta go through here and not get effed up. There we go. Idiot light. fabric that gets that needs to get jammed in here. A lot of fabric. That oh that might be why sometimes that oh crap that came on top. You need to not be on top. You need to be underneath. There you go. That's where I want you. All right. Eh, okay. It's not looking too bad. Not looking too bad. Yep. So we'll see. Next year. Next year, I'm hoping. Next year, I'm hoping. Because next year, I'm also hoping to. Uh, not being Hokkaido. I'm hoping to be in Honshu, the main island. That would be the dream. We're going to come up here. 13 is dead center, I said. That's pretty freaking good right there. Forward. At least since it's super duper lightweight, I can just move it back and forth pretty, ooh, freaking easily. Ok, 
Hey, that was not bad. That was actually a decent, decent stitching. Oops. Fairly happy with it. This next one's going to be a huge pain in the butt because it is deep inside the jacket. Actually, there's might be a new episode of this, the anime that this comes from on tonight. We will again, we will again measure. Is it 51? Did I do it spot on? Make me super freaking happy if that's the case, if I actually did a fairly decent job on it. Oh, I'm off by like a centimeter. I'm just over 50, so I lost a centimeter, so that's not horrible. So we're at 25 and a half. I'm a little bit high. So we will put this roughly I don't want to put it there we'll put it roughly about oh because I'm actually a little I'm a little bit high on the bottom side so I got to go down a smidge so this the middle should be 25 and a half we're gonna put it down a little bit and we're gonna move you forward to about there oh, I think we'll call that good Got a lot of fabric that needs to come through. A lot, a lot of fabric that needs to come through. This one looks the worst out of all of them. God, it looks horrible. There's not a whole lot I could do with just the sheer amount of fabric that's between these two places. Let go. Let go on the bottom. I know on the bottom. There we go. The bottom is where they got stuck. Good. And. Oh, holy crap. There we go. There we are. Idiot light off. Idiot light off. Uh, move this to on the floor. Iron is not hot. Iron is actually cold. Move all this stuff out of the way. Let's give this another shot. What we at? We at this way. Oh, it actually goes on. Oh no! I've been talking for a while, but I think my camera died. Camera, did you die? That's disappointing. That is very disappointing. actually happened. There we go. Oh, am I not able to charge it? I might not be able to charge it when it's in use uh, when I have it that way. That is super disappointing. But also, I probably can't charge it via Will this stretch? This will stretch. Okay. What do we got? What the heck? Why are you doing that? No, 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 no. What? Okay, there we go. Okay, so apparently I can't have my good camera plugged into my computer 
HDMI, and then also USB. So yeah, the camera died. I have no idea when it died, but it died. But anyway, I was able to put the Velcro into uh, more suitable spots, spots that I think are more suitable. Holy crap, they are probably not suited. That's way over almost in my freaking armpit. Okay, that is not going to work. Oh, holy moly. I gotta, like, suck it in. Okay, the bottom's fine. Okay, that is way too much. And now, now the collar is actually kind of tight. That's, actually, that doesn't look, that doesn't look, that does not look terrible when I think about it. It is, it is too tight now. So I went over, I went, like, about 10 centimeters, I think. So that is, that is too many. How does it look on the... Okay, that looks pretty decent all around. I'm kind of liking... Kind of liking this. I think this needs to be a little bit... A little bit bigger, to be honest. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah, I'm actually... I'm just looking in the, the computer to see what I look like, because I have no idea. That's not bad. This is... It's too far over. It's way too far over. It needs to be over... Um, I need to bring it in a couple centimeters, but I'm not going to actually worry about that now. Um, but with the Velcro on, yeah, that's like, that's almost, that's freaking towards my armpit. That's too far. But now, now it feels tight, but I can move around in it. Not that I'm going to be fighting anything, but this is not bad. What time we got? We got, we got 10. I'm wrapping it up about 10. So I'm actually happy with that. Um, I'm going to have to go back through the footage and see when the camera actually died. Did not expect that, but I should have been charging my camera while I was eating. Because that's about an hour. I take about an hour to eat. Well, I take I relax for about an hour when I eat. It takes 10 minutes because I made enough. It takes 10 minutes to reheat it. And probably 20 minutes to eat it. So, and then I just kind of chill for a bit of veg. Uh, the sleeves are good. I like the sleeves. Um, I can actually move in this pretty good. This fabric's actually pretty pretty nice for moving. This is too far over, by far too far over. So I need to I need to cut that. I need to cut it down probably about. Let's where where's my post-it with my notes? Here we go. So we got the post-it with the notes. Wow, the accent's getting really really strong. So, collar is done. So, the collar height wise, height wise, I kind of like it. Um, I kind of think maybe it should be a little bit taller. But then you're going to lose some structural integrity. I mean, it's. But I think. I mean, that looks pretty good all the way around. It's about the same height all the way around. It does dip in the front, but I think that's more the fact that, you know, this side dips down. So if this side was up, maybe it would... Yeah, when that side's up, it looks better. But yeah, this is, this is, this is too far over to the side. Way too far over to the side. Well, I can't see the camera now. I can't see on the computer. But yeah, so this is not bad. This is actually... I'm actually ha I'm actually pretty happy with this. Again, I can move pretty good with this, so that's nice because I want to be able to move. I don't want I don't want to be like I don't want it to feel like a suit jacket. I mean I can do up and I got no problems here. I can go here, no problems there. Come down, the jacket is nice. You can see the jacket has got a nice length here. I might increase that by a couple centimeters just for when I do uh, a, a, a decent hem on it. So when I go to hem it, yeah, it might look a little bit better. Well, it is going to be look a little better because this fabric's a little bit frayed, and I need to uh, fix that up a bit. So no, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. This is not bad at all. I'm happy with this, but I started to make notes, and I stopped. So I moved. We, we, you know what? Hold on. Let's take it off. That's way too far over. Way too far over. Way, way, way too far over. 
Okay, so how far do we how far do we move that over? So we did and I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do to the leading edge. How far do we move that over? So we move that over eleven and a half. Eleven and a half centimeters we freaking move that over. Okay, so color too far overlapped current near edge what did I say 11 and a half yeah about 11 and a half so we're going to put that approx sign 11.5 cm so new uh, I want to give it Oh, yeah, it was just way too freaking far over. So that's 11 and a half cm. You know what? Let's put let's put the new one. Let's put the new one over at 7. 7 I think would be a good a good bet. And then we got 7 centimeters of overlap, which is just 2 and a half inches, almost 3 inches. 3 inches would be 7 and a half um, centimeters would be about 3 inches. So I think that will work. So we'll put the new leading edge at 7. There we go. All right, and then we'll call that there. Again, I don't know when the camera died. Again, that's my fault. Um, everything seems to fit. The arms are good. The arms are nice and good and loose. I really like that. Um, yeah. I don't know what I want to do with the collar to make it stand up a little bit more, but I just think that's kind of going to have to be what it is. Um, I might, I might, I mean, if I, if I do in the dead middle, or maybe if I do it on the sides, just, th I don't think, I don't think just, you know, sewing them together on this, up the sides is actually going to give it any more rigidity. So I think it'll just have to be kind of how it is. But no, this is, uh, this is the, uh, the prototype. Not freaking bad. Not freaking bad, considering a couple setbacks, but... Yeah, yeah. Oh, see, that's what I did. I only measured the collar. The collar was okay. It was this guy. This guy. I mean, that should have been a dead giveaway. You see that? It probably shows up. I can probably go closer on the camera. Yeah, so here, here's the edge of the sleeve. And then there's the Velcro. So you got, you know, just a few centimeters you know that's probably five centimeters or so so about two inches between where your sleeve is and where that is now I'm gonna move it out to about there so that gets you a much more room because that this is the one that feels like it's just in my armpit and I don't like it um, the bottom one is actually pretty decent the bottom one felt pretty decent this one was meh this one was the second most irritating but this is the one that was the kicker that's like, ah, it's not going to work. But anyway, that is pretty much a built, a built prototype. Bam. I am not, oh, put that up there. That is a, that is a, that is a built prototype that, um, for, for my first time, throwing that together looks pretty decent, in my opinion. Again, my opinion. Um, but I think it will be a success. I think people will get a kick out of it, and that's the whole point. Like I said, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a teacher, so it's kind of for my students. Um, so if they like it, win. Uh, if they don't like it, sad face. Um, but I think they will. Um... So yeah, so let's get another thing. So tomorrow, uh, we are actually going to do, so uh, So this is going to be for Friday, 10, 27. So number one, we are going to move or slash Velcro at 7 cm from edge 
see how that fits. It's actually going to be easier to, instead of freaking going through that, undoing everything and reapplying it, I'm just going to apply new, new Velcro. So that means I got to buy new Velcro tomorrow, which I will put in my phone so I don't forget. We're going to do shopping. I'm going to buy a, I need to buy a 50 cm zipper. And I need to buy more uh, Velcro. Velcro hyphen space hyphen space all caps a lot um anything else i need no that should be it boom so that yep so actually that is that yep and then number two is So layout, we're going to lay out desired fabric, fabric, and then ask ourselves the question, do we have enough for everything? I don't know. And number three for tomorrow is make... Uh, What do they call blindfold? There we go. And that is what we're going to do. And that should be good. The prototype, I think, looks decent. Decent. Um, of course, the stitching is in white thread, which is just what I happen to have on that thing. And I didn't, I didn't want to change it, but I'm going to have to change it. Um, I got a bunch of different colors in here. One of these colors... No, I mean, that's black right there. God, how many? I have so many freaking spools of. Ooh. This might be a winner. And I got I got a small. I got it. No, that's black thread on a small spool, but I got it. And that's white thread on a small spool. Do I have an empty small spool? I do have an empty small spool. I can put some of this on here. I think, I think this is actually our winner. Because that would be the thing that I would actually need to check is which ones are desired fabric. I think this is our desired fabric. Ooh, it's not an exact match, but that's dang close. Uh, that's probably as close as we're going to get. Uh, this fabric is... I want to say probably about 50% thicker than the, the fabric we currently used for the prototype. I think this this is this is the winner. So yeah, so, well, it's the winner for now. If I don't have enough, if I don't have enough material, then I got to kind of go back to the drawing board on what I got, what I need to do. But yeah, so that's, that's where we're going to call it here. Um, yeah, very productive night. Prototype is pretty freaking good um yeah i'm happy with it that came out really well it came out the arm stitching came out better than i thought it was going to come out um the only thing i have to do on that is hem and i only have to do i only have to hem the waist and the sleeves i don't have to hem the neck because i'm hiding that with the collar so i don't have to hem that so that's one less thing i got to do and i'm already hemming i might when i lay that out i can reduce uh, the length of that because I marked that somewhere yeah I took it in reduced to three okay so I have my notes here so basically when I lay it out um, I can then make adjustments the neck is good um, the sides are good the arms are good so I'm super happy with that uh, and the arms were just straight up from uh, the, the paper the paper pattern. So I don't have to modify that at all. Uh, but then I will reduce some of these. Um, actually, I'm probably not going to reduce the, uh, the left side. Because I did what? I did a centimeter. 
Oh crap, yeah, I might not reduce them at all because uh, I just might use the extra material for... Um, actually, the, the centimeter one worked. It worked. So we might we might not change much. I might just reduce all these. I might leave it the centimeter because that actually seemed to work. Not the easiest to sew, but um, it works because I took I took four centimeters out of the middle of the back. So if I take all of that out, you know, I even when I add a couple centimeters over on the side, that might affect the armhole, and the armhole works fairly it doesn't work perfect but it works it's about 90 93 percent there so let's not mess with that uh, but i might if i took the right side in four centimeters i can i can save myself some fabric doing that and if i took the left side in three centimeters i can save myself some fabric doing that and just do like a, a centimeter hem and call that a day yeah yeah i think that's what we'll do Take the back in four, so that's four, a four reduction. Um, take the right side in the reduction, so I'm saving, just saving itty bitty 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 bits of fabric here um, to see if then uh, everything will fit and work out. But yep, I know I've said it at least twice, maybe three times now. This is where we're going to call it. Um, peace. Have a good one. Catch you later. Mute when I say mute.